What is the artery identified by the pink arrow? We see a robust vessel along the radial aspect of the wrist. Not surprisingly, this is the radial artery. It is a terminal branch of the brachial artery and arises at the cubital fossa of the forearm. It is one of the two main arteries of the forearm along with the ulnar artery. It supplies the radial recurrent artery as well as palmar and dorsal carpal branches and smaller other muscular branches. The radial artery runs along the radial aspect of the anterior compartment of the forearm under the brachioradialis and lateral to the flexor carpi radialis tendon. For the distal section of its course, the radial artery lies on the surface of the radius. It proceeds along the floor of the anatomical snuff box, passing dorsally around the scaphoid and trapezium. At the carpal region of the hand, the radial artery forms the deep palmar arch and anastomoses with the ulnar artery. Variations in less than 1% of the population include a superficial course in the anatomical snuff box. This can be mistaken for the cephalic vein as accidental injection of this variant radial artery has been reported. Other clinical significances include pulse checks, arterial blood gases, arterial line placement, and harvesting for coronary artery bypass grafts. You now know a lot about the radial artery. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.